Hello, my friends. Welcome back to our playing Let's Play Shadow Hearts 2 for the PS2. My name is Fletus Burr, this is Sorby's Gaming Channel, and today we are going to continue on through this, uh... Through this area we're supposed to go to with Lucia. Uh, we have all these tiles, and I believe there's 12 of them. And we're going to go through these real quick. And I went ahead before I started this episode today and wrote down some notes on each one. So that way, hopefully, we'll be able to solve the next puzzle. Ares tile. Depicts a golden fleece lamb, a Greek legend. Arians hate losing and attack any tasks with vigor, but they also short-tempered and lack patience. Taurus. Depicts Lo, daughter of the river god. Transformed into a cow. Taurians are discreet and restrained in love. Self-abnegation can lead to extreme greed. Gemini. Depicts twin gods Castor and Pollux. Geminians are known to get along well with everybody, but their desire to please everyone makes them unfaithful friends. Cancer. Depicts a giant crab that Heracles fought. Curious Cancerians often become scientists, but more often they become jacks of all trades and masters of none. Leo. Depicts a mortal lion depicted, defeated by the puff-sized hero. Leonians are heroic and strong, but also very assertive. They become very upset if not praised. Virgo. Depicts a beautiful goddess of justice, Astrea? Virgoans are perfectionists who obsess over details yet often forget about the important things. Libra. The scales held by Astrea to weigh humanity's sins. Librans value fairness above all. When faced with inequality, they become faltering and indecisive. Scorpio. Depicts a giant scorpion slain by Orion. Scorpion are secretive, suspicious, and anarchistic. They can be hard workers, but not good friends. Sagittarius depicts a half-man, half-horse hunter, Chiron. Optimistic and brazen, Sagittarians do not realize that they can appear brusque and ill-mannered. Capricorn depicts a mythological goat. Capricornians enjoy being alone. Perhaps they are independent, or perhaps because they are boring and poor communicators. Aquarius depicts a youth Ganymedes carrying an earthenware pot. Aquarians are self-centered, sure of their own convictions, and rarely show kindness to others. Pisces dep depicts Aphrodite and her son's Eros, and her son Eros turn into fish. Uh, Pisces are trusting, sensitive dreamers, fine qualities, but can be easily manipulated. So that's all the tiles, and we're going to probably have some puzzle. I don't know if my notes are going to be sufficient enough because I haven't seen what this puzzle says yet. But hopefully we'll be able to solve some of the things here. Oh, let's see. Uh, the hero. To protect the children, the archer waits, bow in hand, to shoot the wild beast approaching from the distance. Okay... So are these all supposed to be heroic? Um, I wasn't expecting just one poem. First it came from the sea, it grew legs, so it complained the shoal, then developed poison to protect itself. What is all this? This isn't what I expected. Getting cheese is better than only wool, but getting succulent meat is the best thing of all. What the heck is this? The maiden. In the desert, water is treasure. To her, offer the maiden her weight and water placed in earthen water jugs. Didn't we see earthen water jugs? So, this looks like a scale. So, we should do, um... Libra. And then, uh, Virgo? Virgo is justice, perfection. Uh, Ganymede, Pisces, uh, Dreamers, Aquarius. So the problem is I have no idea 
if any of this is right. I have no idea what order to put it in. Does it matter the order? I don't think the order matters. Oh, why, why, why does this puzzle exist like this? I just went through all of the things and, and yet the poems don't necessarily Hero, to protect the children, the archer waits, bow in hand, to shoot the wild beast approaching from the distance. The archer waits, bow in hand. Uh, alright, so... We need... An archer here, which should be Chiron. And then we need a beast, which is the lion, because it represents the main lion. And then he's protecting children. Um, children. I don't see anything here for children. Could be Pisces. Could be Gemini. Yes! All right, we got one. All right, so that was Gemini. Hold on, let me let me scratch that out. That was Gemini. Uh, Chiron, who was Sagittarius, and Leo. All right, so let's go in door the left door first because left is always right. And we got the fifth key. Okay. That could be really good, or it could be completely useless. Probably gonna be completely useless. Because to do five turns perfectly would be basically impossible for me to do. Uh, read poem. The value of livestock. Getting cheese is better than only wool. But getting meat is best of all. So, hold on. Um, cheese? I need to... move stuff around on my desk here so I can write this stuff better down. So, cheese better than wool. Meat is the best. So, it needs to be meat then cheese then wool. Okay, where do we have cheese at? How do we make cheese? All right, so that's wool. No, I don't want that there. Um, wool's on the bottom. And then meat. Uh, meat. Meat. Capricorn? Capricorn is the goat. Now, what's the cheese? Uh... I don't see anything that gives cheese. Aquarius? No, it's not Aquarius. Um, it's not Taurus. I'm just guessing here at this point. Because I don't know what gives cheese. Is there a Silent Hill like puzzle in this game? Wait a second, it seems like I only have a few options. One, two, three, four, five. 
One, two, three, four, five. I only have five options here. Plus the three. Should I have more than that, shouldn't I? Okay, I, I need to find something that has to do with cheese. Hold on, let me go to the inventory. And let me double check again. Taurus. Cancer. Virgo. Libra. Scorpio. Cares an earthenware pot. Okay, should I try... Should I try another one first? Because the more of these I solve, the less I have to work with. That's what I'm thinking. What's this one? I meant to read the poem and accidentally backed out. On evolution, first it came from the sea, it grew legs so it could play in the shoal, then it developed poison to protect itself. So, C, um, legs, and then poison. Okay, so C has to be fish. Well, it could be, could be cancer, but cancer has, like, legs, doesn't it? So, fish. I wish it would give me a confirmation if I got one right. Um, legs. Could be cancer. What is a poison one? Poison is a Scorpio? Ah, stop backing out. No, no, no. Keep that one the same. This could be Scorpio. And then I just need to figure out legs. Legs. Got it. Yes. All right. What was that? That was Cancer. It was Scorpio. And it was. What was it? Was it Aquarius? Can I still look at it? No. Oh, I can't go in the door until I have both of them. So that must be the correct way to go. So I need to solve the right puzzle first before I go in here. Uh, key items. Which one was it? Um, Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Libra, Capricorn, Aquarius. It was Pisces. All right, this is not the way I expected this puzzle to go. Alright, let the right door. The maiden. In the desert, water is the treasure. To with to win her, offer the maiden her weight and water placed in earthenware water jugs. So offer the maiden her weight and water. So you have earthenware jugs, which we know is somebody. Hold on, let me back out. Back out, back out, back out, back out, back out, back out. All right, which one is the one that was earthenware? Aquarius. So this one has to be Aquarius. And it's gotta be... It's gotta be... Could be Libra. It could also be Astraea, which is who? Virgo. Could be um, Astraea or Virgo. It could be both. But then it says water. 
Do we have any water left? I mean, I guess it could be Capricorn. Because it kind of looks like a mermaid, but probably not. It's probably going to be Aquarius, Libra, and Virgo. Well, let, let's attack with those then. So, what is the treasure to win her off of the maiden her weight in water? Her weight in water. So, her weight needs to be Virgo. And then this has to be uh, Aquarius. And then the bottom one, which is the scales, is uh, Libra. All right. Oh wait, L let me let me put that one back. Maybe they're uh, backwards as far as the top ones go. Switch with another tile. Let's put Virgo here and Aquarius here. Are you guys playing along at home, by the way? I hope so. Yes, that worked. All right. So that was Aquarius, Libra, and Virgo. Virgo, Libra, and Aquarius. That leads me down to Aries, which is a lamb. Uh, Taurus, which is a bull or a cow. It says cow in the um, item description. And Capricorn, which is a goat. Although I don't know what goat... Goats make cheese, don't they? So this is... Uh, the cheese is Capricorn. Uh, the lamb is wool. So Aries. And then the cow is meat, and that's Taurus. So it's gotta be Taurus, Capricorn, and Aries. Um, I don't like how this let me go through. That makes me think that the other way had a treasure or something. Well, let's go ahead and take care of these guys first. Let's see if I am able to judgment me today. Well, it's a good start at least. Uh, who's up next? Uh, I couldn't see him because he's invisible, of course. All right, good start, good start. Very good start. Don't I'll take it. Sure. I'll take that every day of the week. Let's go ahead and cycle team. And let's go back to this door. Because I think uh, I had the order right. So this is Taurus. Because he's the meat. Because he's a cow. According to the item description. I've always seen him as a bull. But... The inventory description says cow. Uh, cheese would be Capricorn. And then this has to be Aries. Ooh, hoo, 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 we did it! Happiest of days. And yep, there was a chest here. A what? That's it? All of that just for a Thera seed? Are you kidding me, game? Oh, come on. Solved all those puzzles and all we got was... Well, we got a fifth key too, but... I mean, the fifth key is... You know, it's... It's okay, but... Uh, I probably shouldn't have done that. I just saved over, um... I saved over our last data. And I don't know if you notice this, uh, if you know this, but if I... Turn off... If my power gets shut down for any reason, I lose my, uh, recording. That's why we save in different spots every single new episode. Because if my recording gets lost, I can just reload the previous spot. 
So let me go ahead and stop this recording and then start right back up. I'll be right back. And if I do what I'm supposed to do in the editing room, uh, that should just go by really, really seamlessly. Except for uh, the music, of course. We do have our A-team for this fight, right? I believe so. Our A-team is not Yo Kim because I keep messing with him. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, isn't it though? By the way, I don't know if I've asked this yet, but I hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic day today. I really hope Lucia becomes a party member. Because with her magical dancing abilities, I think she could be a really cool character. Very unique too. Aw, look at that smile. You know she's evil though. <laughs> Come on. She's good. She just has to be. Um. Nice kitty. One giant pussy. <laughs> Die. Yep, I knew she had to be evil. Just, just do it. Andre, go on ahead and get them. Huh? Wait a minute. Stop! <laughs> Did you forget who I am? It looks like it's trying to. Eat. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should try and help. Ah, let's give it a minute. I think you're right. Ah, all right, fine. Turn out the damsel in distress, even though she tried to kill us. You know, that's kind of how things roll. Okay, uh, what should we do here? Giant purple kitty moves before Geppetto. Uh, we should probably line up on Karen's next turn. Uh, why don't I go ahead and surge? with Yuri. It's a good start. Oh, it does. Oh, that was special attack. Oh, I thought that was physical attack. Oh, that's so dumb. I, I just made a huge mistake. Uh, I meant to rage, not surge. Well, you could always use his special abilities, right? I'll probably hit him more likely if I do. Um, hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and combo you with Yuri. Just because you can do some extra damage. Uh, Yuri, why don't you go into Orexus mode? And because you have that extra power. Oh, Dark Claw actually does a lot of damage. Alright, let's go for it. Not expect now. I was expecting him to run over and like uppercut him or something. That was cool. Very nice. All right. I think he's got the uh, the item on that protects me from that. So that worked out pretty well. Um, I'm gonna have you marry that. Uh, looks like we're still firing off uh, water magic, so let's go ahead and do that. I got to change her to angel form. But it's all good. Alright, um, you, I'm gonna have you combo up on Arexis. And same with you. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to resist. What? That's a lot of money, you stupid cat. Oh, I really hope I get that back. Because I am horrible with money management in this game, as you all know. All right, let's go with uh, another Dark Claw here. Next, because I believe you have a huge uh, attack move here. 
Uh, Gorsim based. Ah, uh, but I haven't seen the attack ring. Oh god, this is going to be unnerving because Outlaw it's going to look like. Thankfully, it was not complicated. Ooh, I was expecting two, not just one. Oh, that was pretty. I enjoyed that. Blanca, uh, go ahead and Soul Comet. And Geppetto. Can we, for the first time, do this? Thought I had it. Thought I had it. Because last time I missed it because I went too long. This time I did it too early. Oh, that's a shame. Alright, I'm gonna have you combo up. Oh, wait. If you combo up, that makes you lose an SP and you only need to have two. Uh, whoo. Go ahead and try to attack. Much rather have this been in part of a combo, but. Cause that seems like a combo builder more than anything else. Uh, you continue as Dark Claw, because that did a lot of damage, especially with your um, bonus damage. Stop stealing my money! Really hope I get that back. I'm gonna be so mad if I don't. Uh, Aqua Cast, definitely. Finish this thing off, shall we? You know, I love cats, but in this case, this cat's stealing all my money. Not a fan. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to call it a perfect fight because I missed the combo magic. But it was still a pretty good fight. Uh, we got Belette there, along with a ton of stuff, and did it in four turns. So we got eight extra souls, which is very nice. Uh, multiple people leveled up, except Eo King. Uh, Joachim. I wonder how the uh, the stats work. If you're not in a party, do you get less experience? I mean, the way I'm shifting party, like, every combat, it, it you know, there'll be a couple of people that are probably ahead of others, but it's going to be pretty consistent overall. Are you alright? I don't Why are we asking her? Is she alright? She tried to kill us. Oh, thank you. Just what were you trying to pull, anyway? I'm so sorry. You see, we thought Suppy and his Gladio sent you after us. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. Uh, you thought we were from Suppy and his Gladio? We've had hitmen pretending to be customers sent to us before, and every time I'd bring them to this island. And feed them to Andre. Aw, oh, look, the kitty's okay. That's good to know. The kitty didn't die, my friends. Tee. All the tots. So, uh, you oppose the society too, eh, miss? That's right. Ever since Carla ran away from them, they've had it in for us. And now we're fighting against the secret society too, right? Oh, now you know. Right. Maybe she could still join us after all. So this whole trip to this dungeon was just a giant trap. I need Admiral Akbar to come up and go, It's a trap! So that's what it was. You don't have to say a word. I saw everything through this mirror. So, you trust us now? Sure. Sorry, but the flower I had you go get isn't the real Adriatic Magnolia. I feel bad for tricking you. Take this as a token of apology and gratitude. I hope you'll get some use out of it. You got the purse on crest. Ooh, two crests in a row. I don't like to remember, but I guess there are some things I better tell you. I'm so glad we get more cutscenes in this game. I was young and beautiful once, too. Loving life full of dreams, I was. But those girlish dreams didn't last. Men used me and threw me out like trash. I was hurt and bitter then. That's when it happened. 
A secret group called Sapientes Gladio invited me to join them. Desperate, I joined, and even took on disciples to be my successors. But the violence was too much for me, and I ran away from them. They chased me for years, and always I managed to evade them. Finally, I wound up here. I've been with this one ever since then. Man, this game just feels like such an improvement over the first game in every single way possible. And the first game was a lot of fun. And it was really good. I just hope this story is really good in this one as well. I mean, we don't know much about the story yet. We know we're being pursued by the Sapiente Gladio. We know they took Roger Bacon. We know that there's something infecting Yuri. Uh, so there's still a lot of questions for, it to be, uh, for us to be answered. Uh, but I'm really... I I'm, I I'm hooked so far. I suppose no matter how much you try to turn a blind eye, you can never escape your true destiny. Carla. Lucia. The, the stars have turned. It's time for you to start your journey. I've always wanted to make... I've always wanted to make up for that girl going down the wrong path. Now the burden falls to you, I'm afraid. Don't know why I couldn't read that. It's not a burden, Carla. And I've always wanted to go on a little adventure. And as your successor, I want you. I want to make you proud of me. I'll tell you where the society's branch headquarters are in this town. The man you're looking for might be there. Uh, thank you, Carla. She coming? And so, if none of you mind, I'll join you on a journey. Yes, she's joining us. And I kind of given her voice already sometimes, and then sometimes just read it. So, and so, if none of you mind, I'll join you on your journey. Sure, it's glad to have you. Lucia's special menu. Tarot card is a skill where Lucia draws cards from the tarot card pack. Some cards have powerful positive effects while others have negative effects. Aromatherapy is Lucia's skill of bending a base oil, blending a base oil with certain other oils to produce different aromas. The compatibility of the blended oils changes each aroma's effect, so try to find oils that go well together. Is she like Riku? Uh, mixing abilities? And here are some things that will be perfect for your trip. These mysterious enchanted herbs. But how are you sure? I haven't really perfected how to mix those yet. You've been sucking off for your studies again, girl? Oh well, take them along anyway. Practice makes perfect. You got an ocean oil. Misty oil? Excellent. So let's check out our new girls, shall we? Uh, do the personal. Lucia starts at level 13. She's got tarot cards, high priestess. Gr cards from the priestess. Upright, it denotes wisdom or mystery. Reverse, it suggests naivete or selfishness. MP is restored by 50% at max value. Hierophant. Uh, religious leader meaning mercy. Reversed, it implies cruelty or intolerance. HP is restored by 50%. Hermit. Shows a hermit uh, searching in vain. Signifies prudence. Reverse, it denotes thoughtlessness. SP is restored 50%. Hangman. Signifies growth, sacrifice. Reverse, it suggests uh, selfishness. Next turn is skipped. Huh. Shows a poor man being hanged. The moon. Uh, in uh, signifies intuition, dreams, or latent powers. Reverse, it signifies unforeseen peril and deception. Max MP and battles increased by 50%. High Priestess. Uh, the Priestess. Upright denotes wisdom or mystery. Reverse, it suggests naivete or, unself or selfishness. MP is restored by 50%. Higher. Okay. Um, I don't know if I kind of like her idea. Because based on what I'm thinking about this character, it seems to be based on luck. And uh, I'm not good at that. I played XCOM. And in XCOM, I would have an 85% chance of hitting something and I would miss. And the enemy would have a 25% chance of hitting me and hit me every time. So whenever there's a game that involves luck over 
a 50-50% chance of something happening, I never ever like to take those chances. Uh, okay, so we have ocean oil. Uh, containing a variety of flowers made in lavender, expresses the abundance of the sea for a deeply relaxing experience. Misty, an aroma oil extract of ginger and black pepper with just a hint of cardamom. The stimulating aroma is said to release tension. Uh, profile, beautiful fortune teller from Florence. Trained as a dancer and seer from childhood, she entices men with a beautiful figure and unique style of speech. As far as stats go, she is... So she's weaker than Karen. So she's like the fourth strongest member in our party. She's got a low vitality. Tied with Geppetto. Her agility is like fourth best. She's got the highest luck stat. Also the highest power stat. And... The third highest intelligence. Strangely enough, I didn't notice this, but Blanca has a 22 intelligence. And she's a heavy character. Oh, wow. I... I see, I, I would just left that as a question mark game. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to go there with the dead foot pole. All right. Uh, she's a dark element, too. Which is kind of interesting. Uh, let's look at her equipment. She's got a Luna fan. Popular fan among fortune tellers. It features an image of the full moon. Its sharp spines also allow it to be used as a weapon. Silk shawl. Studded belt. Feather bracelet. Protects against panic. And uh, we'll go ahead and give her a cap. Let's look at crest. She comes with aim. Uh, increased physical attack, defense power, and short turn Wow, it's a very good passive thing there. And we could give her person. Light class special damage. And Belath, which is earth and fire damage. Alright, we'll give her Belath and Person. We also need to check the Solomon's key, because we got a couple new ones. So Person goes here. Aim goes here, and Boleth goes here. Okay, we have five now. So since we have five, we should probably figure out where these go. So Aim has the heads of a snake, calf, and man, and appears riding a blue snake, adores fire, and lives in the burning oil fields. Well, that should be here. Uh, a phantasmatoric devil who appears as an ever-shifting cloud of dust. The flame desert whirlwinds are manifestation. Desert World Winds. Pierce is a dark man of leopard skin, lives in the south of the flame desert where he yearns for lush forest beyond. Um, hmm. Could be either one. A pale man with a serpent's tail, he can make himself and others fly. He loves death and lives by the boneyard in the north. So I'm assuming that's here. Magnificent General Cloaked in Red. A Demon of elegant habits. He lives by the desert oasis. Okay, so if I did this right. Yes, I did! All the flame desert crests are in the correct position. Entrance has been added. Evil Ray has been added. Cure has been added to Bella Bathin, that's good. Uh Jerez has been uh Jerez got red blaze. And aim got heat edge. Okay, so. Good, 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 good stuff. Let's check out our crest change again now. And make sure that... Make sure that nothing is overlapped here. Wow, she's got Evil Ray and Holy Edge now. She also has Heal and Cure. So Heal restores abnormalities and Cure restores HP. She's very white mage-ish right now. Actually, I would say she's more red mage-ish. Kind of makes sense. Um, what else we got? Rage, shield, gale, and then heat edge. And then you got evil ray added. 
and bright light actually i really like evil ran her because she's already dark type and this is seven hits so it's really good for comboing and that's the one thing she was lacking she didn't really have a way to help with combo meters so i think that works out really well as far as party configuration goes well i think this one's gonna be an easy choice uh i'm gonna go ahead and do i want to add her this party or this party like, I still want this to be my alpha party. I, I really like this party. Um, Blanca is very versatile. Karen's very versatile. And Geppetto's got a lot of magic damage to him. Um, I, I think I'm going to add her to... Hmm. It's tough. I could argue that she may be better than uh, Blanca because she's got a lot more like buff type spells on her right now and that could work better than Blanca's abilities. I just don't like her randomness though. Alright, I'm going to throw her in with uh, Team A and then uh, you're Keen. You're getting the lesser treatment here. So I have Karen in every party. Should probably replace Karen in Team C with uh, Lucia. So Karen's in two parties. Geppetto's in two. Lucia's in two. Yorkim's in one. I could replace uh, Yuri with Yorkim here. Yeah, I could do that. That would work for me. Why don't I go ahead and make Lusa my... Actually, we'll make uh, Karen my main party member. Yeah. Make Lusa the main party member of Team A. And we'll make Karen the main party member of Team B. And Joaquin the main party member of Team C. Sure. Why not? Get a different uh, visual on the screen. I don't know if it actually changes our visual or not. If not, I'll go back and change it later. Herbs have lots of different effects. Depending on how you use them, try every combination you can. I'll be praying for your good fortune. Be careful on your journey. You know, I don't think I checked that with um, our girl, by the way. Uh, there's no way to check it. Okay. We're just gonna have to try it out. Experiment. One of the things I love most about RPGs, you know, when you experiment. Part of the fun, right? We should also see how many steps we accrued. Although, really, realistically, it doesn't matter. We still have a lot of ways to go, right? Uh, let's tent up. And I'm also going to really quick change dress. And we are going to little mushroom dress. Because we haven't really used that. Yes, absolutely stunning, I agree. So where are we heading to next, my friends? The Italian Branch HQ. Just a little bit north of Florence here. Alright. Let's do this. Very dark and quiet area. Doesn't seem too inviting, that's for sure. I don't see anything hidden anywhere. This place reminds me of going to the orphanage for the first time, if you remember that. Got the lay. We haven't seen her, um... A ring, have we? She has one. Hmm. I'm gonna go to Yuri. And I'm gonna take off his rings. I'm gonna add a little bit of width here. And I'm gonna go to... Lucia. Oh, wow. 
That is really difficult. That's like almost immediately. Hmm. Oh, well, we could always buff it up a little. Make it easier to hit. Are there gonna be enemies here? Is this a dungeon? I wouldn't think it would be, but the way it's presenting itself seems like it is. Pretty fishy looking place. I mean, we got treasure chests thrown about, an Uvala crest. Our cure, ooh. Small amount of HP to all allies? That is really good. Do I wanna give it to Lucia? Well, she, I, I could give it to Lucia. After all, she is a part of my alpha team. So why not? There's a magnificent old piano here. Unfortunately though, the game did not allow me to uh, change the person in front. What's up with this book? Love hat trick, nighttime is the right time. The burning flame of love is in the air. Tonight is the night to make a fine slow maneuver. Pull off a hat trick with the one you love. Kickoff is at six o'clock. A hat trick with the one you love? What a stupid book. Kickoff is at six, huh? What does it mean by a hat trick? A spy dies at night three. The house of evil I sneaked into was filled with insidious traps. I'd hit a dead end, nowhere to go. I could hear the approaching footstep of my pursuers. Just then, the hand on the clock reached nine. Hey, it was get just getting good. What's the rest of it? Dang misspelling pages? Huh, the hand reached nine, huh? Okay. There's a fire burning in the fireplace. There's a yellow book. It's a gas, all about farts. Farts usually come roughly six hours after eating. So if you have breakfast, one should go come around three o'clock. Don't try to hold them in or they'll come out your mouth. Be considerate, but commit to healthy farting. I know this book smelled. A fart should come around three, huh? That's weird. Okay, so... Uh, six. Actually, that's wrong. It should be three, shouldn't it? The fire in the fireplace grows slightly larger. You're no longer shy about love. Okay. A foul smell fills the air. Oh my god. That that's from the yeah. Nine. It looks like this clock moves. The the whole wall moves backwards. Oh it moves up! Hey, what the I thought we had to set the clock to like 369, or not 369, there is no 69, but like 639 or three, yeah, 639. That's what I thought it should be. Huh, the setup is typical of a bad guy headquarters. Oh, well, I don't mind. That's kind of why I went six first, because I was assuming that. That's gotta be the most mysterious room to ever exist. And what's with this picture? I think it's looking at me. Hey, hey, hey! This is going a little overboard, don't you think? Actually, I want to go back. Because I want to explore uh, downwards first. Yeah, it's just a weird... Oh, you can actually see the indentation of it, like, turning. You can see the, the walls and the, uh, the floor. It's really well done. Okay, we got a switch. Suspicious looking mechanism here. Oh, it looks like it's missing a part. Well, let's flip this switch then. Told you that wall was suspicious. Hey, I think something happened. Yeah, this place is weird. Now we're in a library. Oh, there are enemies here. Okay. Is 
tarot cards? This is weird. Could be incredibly powerful though. But could also be really, really bad if you get something you don't want. I forgot to look at what we're fighting. What are we fighting? Really weird things. I swear, the people who made Shadow Hearts need to get with the people who made uh, Silent Hill, and they need to have a baby. <laughs> Gremlins, lungs yours? Of course I miss. Uh, at least they missed the Petrify. So that's good. Let's just go ahead and kill the one who's hurt. Looks like there was a commander there. Did you see that? Yep, definitely saw it. Need to break them up. Um, should I go? He's guarding, so let's go after this one. Basically, eliminates the combo. Uh, let's go after the gremlin. That is really fast. It's actually easier than your team, though, because it's so fast that it's, you know, not as difficult to hit. Because your team, you can't hit it right away. You must have to like wait a second. I didn't expect much anyway. Oh, we have a ton of soul energy too. Probably should use that. Let me go ahead and do that. Um, personal Yuri. Soul charge. All right, and I believe we need, I believe we need um, 80. 80, yes. So we're 34 off of that. Which way do you go? Should probably go this way first. All right, there's a there, Roots. Huh, it says something. You got the password. All right, we got a password. We have no idea what the password is. The password is probably just password. <laughs> but yeah, we got a password. And a lottery ticket. Okay. What do we do with the password though? Because it said the thing was missing something, but we got a password. That's not gonna really help us. We need like a part. Oh, enter password. Let's see, it was Unagi? Okay. I know the wall opens up. Hee <laughs> hee, that's the way. This place is crazy. Who built this place? Oh, 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 oh. Gotta go straight here. Ah, oh, I forgot to change my party, didn't I? Yeah, I did. My bad. Let's try the aromatherapy here. Oh my god. Why is that so small? Seriously, why is that so small? Alright, that's a dick gremlin. Oops, didn't mean to do this. Ah, well, that's a good heal. We did lose our combo break, unfortunately. But, you know, hey, it was a good heal. I'd much rather have her, the, the AoE heal, though, than uh, that. Because I don't like, like I said, I, I just don't like the idea that you could get a negative... You know, imagine getting mines 50% heal to all your characters when you need to heal yourself. 
Oh boy, this may hurt. That's not gonna work on me. Nope, that's not gonna work on me. Y'all are dumb. Actually, pretty smart. You attack the giant demon. That's a pretty smart idea. It's just, you know, I was a little bit smarter because I did something that made so that attacking the giant demon would not help you. I'm gonna try this one more time. Hey, we got it. Ally healed by 72 points? Wow! That is really good. It's really hard to hit, but it's really good. Let's see what the Earth magic will do. Nice. Very, very nice. We learned some things there. We learned that she has a killer AoE heal. It's just really, really hard to hit with it. But, you know, it, she has it. What's up this maze? That's another switch. I'll just give it a little flip. Open sesame. And we gotta hit air expand. Also come down this way to our right. I'm looking for a part. There's a couple of chests down here. Strongoids. Whatever the heck that is. Seal of the urn. Oh, the toggle switch. What are strong oids? Inventory. Strong oids. You can only become invisible. Okay. And then the seal of the urn increases dominance capacity. I need to look at what Dominus Capacity does, because I'm not sure I know. But we did get a switch, which means we can now um, advance further here. Oh, these things are so disgusting looking. We'll do Gale Spin because you're air based. You really can't. Okay. So I say you can't hit all three of them? Come on, Blanca. Ah, just miss a perfect. That may hurt. Yeah, it didn't kill because I missed. And now, unfortunately, they're all knocked back. Oh, look. This is small and this is medium. We got a better um, AOE now. Oh, that's nice. That's very, very nice. I approve 100%. Ah, uh, didn't transform, didn't kill him. Ah, uh, what should I do? I need to go after this guy. And then Geppetto can take care of the, uh, the one that's hurt. Geppetto's not on the battlefield for this bird. Uh, I mean, Blanca. Blanca can take her. Good, good, good. That wasn't even a workout. Got two extra souls. Always like to see that. That's like my favorite thing to get. Or, or mana leaves because, you know, then I can use magic more uh, freely. But getting more souls is preferable. Because that means that you can, uh, you can level up your, your forms faster.
What's going to happen this time? Wait, now it's the clock? Alright, gotta go back to the clock now. This is a very interesting uh, place. Yeah, I get it now. Uh, let's go back to the first floor. Because before I do anything else, I kind of want to save. Hey, I found a spike camera in the shape of a candle. Nah, <laughs> it's just a plain old candle. I believe there's a safe spot here, isn't there? No? I thought there was. Maybe it's in the next room. Oh, well, let's, um... No, we haven't used the piano yet. Uh, third floor. There's a boss, so probably give us another save point, right? And this game's been very nice about save points. Just look at the last dungeon. Jukebox. Talisman of Mercy. Can't go back further that way. I don't think I switched teams yet. Let's go. Oh, we got the bat. Actually, I want to... I, I don't want to use the bat form. Oh, but... Yeah, I don't want to use the bat form. I don't know if it goes away automatically if we don't use them in the party. But I'm kind of hoping I can save the bat one for... um For... Uh, uh, for the Grandmaster. Mr. Red. That's unfortunate. Yeah, if we would have hit the red, I think we would have got them all, but we didn't. And she's got a slightly different angle on things. Mm, that one hurt. How did the enemy go for a combo? They didn't even move yet. Okay, take those guys down. Oh, that's... Unfortunate. Oh, let's go for Marinette because I do better with these than um, attacking. Oh, I'm gonna go blind! Goodbye. I would have been shocked if it survived that. Oh, let's get rid of this, uh nonsense uh, combo. I like the fan attack. It's really cool. Nice. Well, that's that, I guess. Yeah, like I said, I want to try to see if I can save Yokim's uh, golden bat form. I don't know if it works that way, but uh, I see the save point right here. So that means that, that we're probably at the end of this uh, this area. But I am going to have to probably take a break here. Uh, thank you so much for everything, my friends. Uh, sorry this episode started a little bit slow, uh, especially with, you know, trying to solve the puzzle, trying to figure out our characters, everything like that. I probably will move my characters around in the... Uh, this party member thing because I was hoping that the uh I was hoping that the uh the the, 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 the the character in the front would be our uh main character uh on the screen visually it would have been nice to see like different characters but I guess you can't do that because you got someone like Blanco with a golden bat I mean how are you gonna move around if you're a golden bat I yeah I can see why they would do that but I love you all so very much thank you for everything and until next time my friends so long and take care Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more.
Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.